What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Kelvin's Garage. Today, we have a very, very special episode for you. We're going to change out the PCV valve on the 2006 Honda Civic. All right, so let's take a look at the brand new parts, okay? We've got a genuine Honda PCV valve, okay? Part number 17130-PND-A01. I take a look at that, okay? Brand new Honda part, okay? It's beautiful. Now, one of the misleading things about the Honda parts catalog is that it may show a photo with the PCV valve with a washer on it, okay? So you may be led to believe that the washer comes with the PCV valve, but it doesn't, okay? So you need to buy a crush washer, okay? And this is a 14 millimeter inner diameter crush washer. All right, if you really want to go with Honda, they're actually pretty cheap. This part number is 94109-14000, crush washer, all right? And it turns out that this is the exact same crush washer that is used on the oil drain plug. So they're interchangeable, all right? So if you just buy an oil drain plug crush washer, it'll work for this, see? So it's supposed to go over just like so, okay? So this is it, this is a little PCV valve assembly. All right, in terms of tooling, you don't need much, all right? First, I have my flex head ratchet here, okay? You're gonna need one of these to access that very tight area in the back, okay? I also have an extension, all right? I also have a 17 millimeter deep socket and you're gonna need this to go over the PCV valve to remove it. I also have a 10 millimeter deep socket, okay? And that will help you access one of the bracket bolts in the back, okay? And finally, I have a little screwdriver for undoing one of the hose clamps, okay? And a pair of pliers, okay? Needle nose pliers for undoing the main hose clamp on the PCV valve. All right, so we're going to open the hood, okay? Get the hood latch right there. Okay, and then we're going to put the support into this hole over here so we can keep the hood open a little bit wider, all right? And then we're gonna locate the PCV valve, okay? It's right down here, actually. So you come around here to the left side of the engine, it's gonna be down in that area over there, all right? All right, one little side comment. It's best to let your engine cool down before you work on it because we're going to be touching some of the hot components in the back. All right, so I have some light in the engine bay now. Now, if you go to the very back over here and if you look past this green connector here, if you look all the way down there, that is the PCV valve. And that is actually a source of a lot of leaking that happens in your engine. So it's best to replace it every now and then. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this green connector over here okay that one's simple enough so just take your thumb here and just pry this out outwards okay and then pull this up and off all right and that comes off okay and now you can kind of see the hose right the hose that leads to the pcv valve and that will kind of be our next target here we have to get this little assembly off here and you can already see that it's leaking quite a bit we're going to undo this little hose clip here okay so that will make our life a little bit easier all you have to do is stick a screwdriver underneath this and just pop it out okay, like that okay and that will allow you to pull this hose away from the clamp over here the um, bracket okay and then the next thing I would recommend doing is taking off the bracket itself so if you follow the bracket right here to its uh, holding screw okay it's right here right here Okay, you can then undo it. Okay, so there it goes. So I just broke it loose. And then I'm going to, just by hand, and without dropping that bolt, unscrew this bolt and the bracket so it's free to move. And that way you have more degrees of freedom to access the PCV valve. So if you look here, this bracket is almost in the way of the PCV valve. So it almost has to be kind of veered off to the side. Okay, so here's the bolt right there. Okay, put that aside for safekeeping. And now we have this, which can be moved away. All right, you see that? So I'm just moving it to the side. Okay, now if you look at the PCV valve and hose attached to it, we've got the hose, right, right here. Okay, and we've got this very, very oily hose clamp and then the PCV valve under it. So we're gonna try to get in there with the plier and hit that clamp, move it up 
and then pull the hose off. I'm just gonna come around from the back here, get my plier around it, see? And I clamped it, and then I'm gonna move that up, okay? But you get the idea here. You can get the plier around the two little hose things and then move that up. Okay, so you can see that I wiggled it around and the hose clamp has now been moved up onto the hose here. See that right here? Okay, so it's, it's free floating now. And now what I'm gonna try to do is just pull the hose off, right? So it should come right off, look at it. Okay, see, came right off, easy as pie. And now as for the hose, I'm just gonna move it up and out of the way, okay, over here or something. Okay, just let it sit on. Okay, now I'm gonna come around with my 17 millimeter deep socket. All right, so I'm gonna put my 17 millimeter deep socket around the PCV valve like so, okay? Should be able to grab it okay. I'm gonna use an extension here. All right, to move, make sure the bracket is not interfering, but I'm gonna use an extension here and I'm gonna take it out. Okay, now you can see that I've got my extension in here. Okay, it's over the, the deep socket, okay? I'm just going to now turn it counterclockwise and break loose the PCV valve. Okay, here we go. Okay. That was it. PCV valve is broken loose. Yeah, just by hand, twist it off. Remember there is a washer at the bottom of the PCV valve, okay? So don't drop it in, all right? Remember to grab it when you take out this little assembly here. But it's coming out quite nicely. It's a couple more turns and it should be out, okay? So I'm gonna take this off now and just use my hand. All right, so here's my hand. And here it is, okay. PCV valve. Whoa, there's no washer here. Interesting. But it looks like this car could have been worked on and there was no washer, all right, no washer. So perhaps they just installed it and that's what's causing this leak. Okay, this massive leak here, but it looks like there's no washer here. I'm not feeling anything, but yeah, there could be no washer on my Civic. All right, let's check it out here. We've got the old PCV valve right here, okay, on the left. And we've got the new PCV valve with washer, okay, on the right. And you can see that the, the old one, you know, I cleaned it up a little bit. Maybe it still works, okay? Maybe you'll want to try cleaning this and putting in a new one. But uh, I just opted to get a new one, okay? But if you see here, the part number is original on here. It says, it's actually different too. It says PND, I think it says 5H05. Okay, PND 5H05. And, and the new one is actually slightly different. It says PND 4A10 PEC, I think, PEC. Okay, but that's how you can tell a brand new one from the dealership and the original one, all right? Now, as I mentioned earlier, when I took this off, there was no washer, okay? So I don't know what happened there. Maybe, uh, so my car, I did take my car in to get service quite some time ago, all right, at the Honda dealership, and maybe they encountered the same issue as me. Two possibilities. A long time ago, they didn't need the washer, so it was never included on the original, and they added it in later, okay? And the other possibility is that uh, they just forgot, okay? They ordered the part and didn't come with the washer, so they just didn't put it in, all right? But in any case, we're gonna use the crush washer, and I think that should solve many of our oil leaking issues. Okay, so we're just going to clean up the surface area a little bit. They got some alcohol wipes, and I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit so it has a nice little mounting surface to attach to. Okay, if you want to, you can also clean the surrounding area because I think this was a major source of leak for quite some time. Okay, so I tried to just hand tighten the PCV valve uh, directly in there, and I did get some resistance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some oil and just put a little bit, a droplet on the threads here. Okay, the oil will help give it some lube to go inside, all right? So that's just to help prevent from cross-threading. So just a little bit, all right? I just dabbed my finger in some oil, and we're gonna try to install it again. Okay, and now I'm going to lower the PCV valve, okay, and washer, you see it's on there and that little dab of oil that was on the threads. I'm gonna lower it into place without dropping anything. Okay, and I'm gonna hand screw the PCV valve into place, okay? So just screw it in. All 
Okay, there it goes. Okay. So once it's seated, okay, once it's seated by hand, then we're gonna put our socket over it, 17 millimeter deep socket. We're gonna come up top and tighten it. All right, and now I'm gonna come up with the extension and ratchet. All right. Just like so. Okay, and then we're just going to tighten it a little bit, just slightly snug. You want to keep the torque on this minimal, okay, because basically you're just crushing that crush washer between the PCV valve and the engine, all right? So, so basically just torque it enough as if you were torquing a oil drain plug. Okay, now that you've got the PCV valve torqued and tightened down, okay, now we're just going to reinstall everything, okay? So installation is the reverse of removal. So we're going to first put the hose back on, okay? Just press down. All right, next I'm going to put the hose clamp in there. So I'm just gonna swivel it to the back over here again. And it's hard to see, but you're going to have to come around with your plier and grab the hose clamp, all right? And then press it in, all right? So it's a little bit tricky, but if you see here, see I've got the hose clamp, my plier right here. Okay, so I'm just going to press it in and then move it down, see, like that. Okay, so work on that for a few minutes and you should be able to get it in, see? So here we go, see, just like that. If you want to, you can swivel it back to where it kind of was before. It was kind of like in this position. All right, so we'll just leave it right there. There might be some indents in the hose. Okay, so keep it here so that it kind of stays in its original form. Now I'm gonna start putting the bracket back on. So if you remember, this is our floating bracket here. It's gonna come in with our bolt over here, that small one, okay? Remember this guy? The little guy right here, all right? And we're gonna come in from the back here, string it through. Okay, so I've got the bolt in there, you can see it, right? From the behind. Okay. Okay, so I managed to get my socket and the ratchet around it. It is a little hard to see here, but you get the idea. Just tighten it up so it doesn't move. All right, and finally, we're going to put this clamp back on. Okay, it swivels around, so I think it was uh, this way, but it probably doesn't matter too much. Okay, but it's like this, and you just clamp it together. And finally, finally, we have to remember to put this little electrical grommet thing, this holder thing back onto the bracket here, right here. Okay, and that's, that's pretty straightforward. Just slip it over. Snap it in. Okay, just like that. All right, and that's it. You're all done installing the brand new PCV valve. All right, and that's it. Make sure you take your car out for a test drive. Let me know in the comments below if that fixed your leak or if your car runs better. And I'll see you next time on Kelvin's Garage.